What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPE series. We will finally begin with the quest objective system, so we will set up the beginning of the structure, the quest giver, and some of the UI. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm to do is create a new folder. So right click new folder and this will be the quest underscore system. Let's say let's open this up and what we're going to do is go and create a new structure. So as you may know, we have already used the structure for our equipment system and so on. So basically gonna rename this to S underscore quest and details, we could say, or even just quest. I prefer to use S quest. So structure of the quest. And let's open this up. And basically, we're going to have all the information and details for each individual quest. So in this case, it will be the quest name. So we're going to put a name and put it as a string, because some text. And then we'll have the uh, quest description. Again, it will be a string. And then we'll have thing size, for example, if it's secondary. And this will be a boolean. So it'll be a main mission, a main mission or a secondary mission. And then also if it's completed, okay? And with time, you can add more things so you can remove what you don't need. Um, but for that, right now, it will work. We're not gonna be really using the structure in this episode, but we just want to set it up. Great, so with that said, let's begin with the quest giver. So in my case, what I'm going to do is duplicate our existing dummy that we created from the start of the series because it's exactly what we want. I'm gonna modify them uh, to only have what we need. So let's go and find our dummy, which is in blueprints. So blueprints dummy, and then let's select it, find our quest system and just drag it into quest system. And they're going to say copy here. Okay. Not move here. It's going to uh, make a copy. So now in quest system, I'm going to rename our copy and BP quest giver. And now we can just open this up. So this quest giver, We'll basically, you know, we'll interact with it and it will give us a panel with all the quests and so on and we can select the one that we need. So let's remove some things that we don't need. For example, our health system, we will not require that. So all in the event, any damage that we play or montage, remove the health, play the uh, damage and so on. We will not need that. So let's select everything and delete it. Okay, as simple as that, all the health system. Let's also select the BPC player stats, remove it. And then let's also select ragdoll. We will not uh, need our quest giver to ragdoll, so we can just delete that too. And then you're gonna see that we have an event tick, which it will basically um, have a health bar widget and assassinate. We will actually use the assassinate widget. So let's select the health one and delete it. The thing is, I'm gonna replace this assassinate widget with a um, quest interact widget, okay? So you know that you can interact with that quest giver, but we're gonna rename it. So right now, this, we can leave it like this, and then we will be able to just remove the begin play, which is just adding uh, the health bar UI, doesn't need that. Um, and then let's go and remove the assassination reference because we will not be able to assassinate our quest giver. So let's delete that. Uh, the health bar widget, let's delete that too. And with that, we can just select the assassination radius and just rename it. And this will be the trigger radius. So the, basically, when we enter in this zone, we can interact with our quest giver to get the missions. So let's just uh, re, you know, kind of recenter this, put it a bit forward, and let's make it like 70. So it's a bit bigger, you know. Uh, so we enter in this zone, we can interact with our quest giver. So you can play around with that. Uh, let's also just select the class settings and let's uh, remove our in uh, interface. Just select the clear button, yes, and then in the function, you select it and delete it. Okay, so now, yes, we have our um, quest giver blueprint a bit cleaner. Um, so now we can start doing things. Let's also rename the assassinate widget with interact widget. Okay, because it's our interaction widget. And now let's go ahead and just drag it into the scene. So quest giver, drag it, and so on. Don't confuse it with our existing um, dummy and be like, oh, I cannot interact with my quest giver. No, that's our dummy, so make sure to drag in the quest giver into the, the, the scene. It can be a very common issue. Uh, so right now, of course, nothing will happen. I just have my assassinate widget appear, which we have to rename it to be our interact uh, with a quest or whatever. So we're gonna go into a quest system, um, and uh, sorry, not a quest system, I'm gonna go into quest giver. Okay, let me also use 
put this guy a bit closer. There we go. And I'm gonna select the interact widget, and you can see the round now, right now we have selected the assassinate prompt. We're gonna to search this, select it, and drag it into our quest system, and make the same that we did with the dummy. Just select copy here. So we'll copy that uh, widget. And we'll just change this to be IOB and it will be renamed to um, Quest Interact Prompt. And now we can just open this up and we can just change this to be uh, with the E key. So in the parenthesis, put E. And then we can just put, for example, um, you know, I don't know, whatever, like get quest. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You can put more of a ingenious idea later on but let's also center this and now we can just close this and change it so interact widget we're gonna replace it with our quest um if you know how to type prompt and now yes we can now go into our quest dealer or giver or whatever we want to name it and then we're gonna see that we have e git get quest and now we can of course not interact with it so let's go ahead and interact uh so for that we're gonna create a new interface okay um, actually, I think that we could even use some of our existing interfaces because right now if we go into our third person target as you can see if I were to search for interact and search uh, no, it's not our interact um, I don't know how was the e key maybe I think we create an input right L let me search the inputs that we have um, so as you can see in the third person input folder actions we have all of our ink system ones and we do have our EA interact. Um, oh, I know what's, I know what's happening. So basically our, yeah, interact system right now is on, uh, is in our equipment system. Okay. It's, it's here. That's where we interact as you can see. So I'm going to be changing this. So let's go into the equipment system and no, equipment system no, into our, uh, content browser once again. Let's go back into our quest system and we are actually gonna be creating a new interface. I was thinking of reusing the existing one, but because it is an external component, I think that it will be more ideal to just create a new interface. So we can just right click, go into blueprints, blueprint interface, BPI underscore quest um, giver. And let's just open this up. And our first function will just be interact. There will not be any inputs or outputs, so we can just compile, save and close. Now let's go into our quest giver, go into the class settings, and then in implemented interfaces, we can just search our quest giver interface, drag it in. As you can see, now we have a new interface. Let's double click on it, and now we can do stuff. So right now, let me just put a print, so we know that it will uh, work, and compile. And now let's go into our third person character, because we have to set up our uh, interaction from it too. So let's just go into nice place, for example here. And let's select our EA underscore interact. So we're going to be using the same key, which is the E key to interact with our quest giver. And we, we are just going to get on started and do a for each loop. And here we're going to do is just get overlapping actors. And basically we can leave it empty because we can detect any actor that we want. So in the future, we have more different types of quest givers. They will also be detected. Uh, so basically, because we have our trigger radius right on here which makes sure it is overlappable dynamic if we are inside of it it will be overlapping from our character so we'll be in the overlapping actor section so in here we can just you know check that it implements the interface which is the quest and um, giver interface and if so we are making sure that it is a quest giver so we can just go ahead and call the interact message uh, and there we go so now we can interact with that quest giver. So if I go into here, you can see that I can go here, get quest appears, and now I can press the E key, you can see the hellos appearing. So everything is working. So let's begin to create the UI for the quest giver. Uh, so let's right click in our quest system folder, use interface, widget blueprint, use a widget, that will be underscore, and let's call this quest um, giver uh, panel, but yeah. Quest giver, I think it will be good. Um, so in quest giver, let's add from the palette a canvas panel so we can start placing things on our widget. And for now, I'm just gonna get a image, drag it, and then in anchors, 
hold the left control and then click on this uh, big square. And I will just fill on the whole screen. So now I can go into my brush and the tint and let's put it darker and the alpha put up 2.3. So now we have like a nice background uh, isolating all the other stuff. Let's rename this to background and let's go ahead and search in the palette for blur. And you can see we have background blur. Let's put it on top of the uh, background. Let's select our blur and do exactly the same thing. Go on anchors, hold the left control and then click this big image. And now we can just go into the blur strength, put some on the last 10, and now the background will be blurred and everything will look nice. Let's get our text, drag it here, and the anchor will be in the top left. Do not um, hold control, okay, this is just clicking on here. And then we can just put it over here, let's say, make it bigger, and let's put like, I don't know, uh, 37, something like that. And let's put uh, quests available. So we can see all the quests that are available. Extend this over here. And now when we go into our quest giver, uh, of course we have to enable this widget. So let's go back into the then graph. When we interact, let's remove this string. And let's go ahead and just say create widget. Let's select the widget that we want, which is gonna be the quest and giver. Now the interact prompt is gonna be the normal giver. Is uh, Let's say this into a variable for later on. So uh, quests. Quests uh, widget and now we can just get this and do an add to viewport so what we'll be adding into the screen um, with that said let's create a variable which is um, widget active and in here we're gonna be setting it to true okay because it will mean that it's true and in here let's make a branch and we're gonna only do this if the widget is not already active so we're gonna make a not boolean so if it's not active right now we're gonna basically create a new widget but if it's um, uh, already active we are going to get our quests widget and say a remove from parent so it will disappear and then on top of that we're gonna we um, empty the variable so we're gonna go ahead and get quests widget and set it to be empty and with that said you can see that I can go I can get the quest uh, widget you can see that it opens the widget, you have the text, the background blur, and so on. I can press E again and it will exit. Let's make a quick change. Let's go and get the player uh, controller. So right when we create the widget and so on, let's set the show mouse cursor to be true. Because we want to be able to get our mouse cursor to select the mission and so on. And let's also select the mode to be game and UI. And on the widget in focus, we can just put our quests widget. And now let's select these two nodes, uh, copy here and paste it. And now disable the show mouse cursor because we want, uh, want it again. And then you set the mode to be game only. And with that said, we have everything set up so we can show our mouse and so on, as you can see. And see your mouse. Uh, great, so let's go into the quest giver widget and what we are going to do is get the palette and add a vertical box. So basically, we can extend this over here, go into anchors and put it into the left corner. Again, do not hold control this time. Um, and let's put it over here, kind of centered. There we go, filling up the text over here. So this will be basically a list of all the quests. So let's create another widget for our individual slots, which will be added into this uh, list over here. So let's go back into our folder, right click user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, that would be on score, and say quest slot. Let's open this up, add a canvas panel from the palette, and let's add a button, because it will be a button. Let's rename it to remove the 46 <laughs> over there. And then let's change our uh, canvas in here. So where it says full screen, let's put it on the side. So it will just be the size that is occupying the widget itself. And let's get a text, drag it uh, inside, and this changes to be the quest name. And then we can just select uh, the button and just extend it so we'll cover a bit the text and even make it a bit longer. Uh, let's delete the text and let's snap it into the horizontal alignment into the left. So I'll be there. So the button, go into the style, normal, and then in the tint, let's put it darker. And we can leave the 
uh, hovered a bit lighter and then the press let's put it super light so we have the feedback that we are pressing the button and so on and with that said we can leave it like that just compile save go back into our quest giver and then just go into palette search our slot that we have just created in this case will be the quest slot and you will drag it inside the vertical box you can see that we start duplicating it we have all the quests and of course later on we'll add some padding and so on so but a bit it will look a bit nicer but you get the idea we're going to quest giver and we have the all the quests available it was selected and we now have a panel here showcasing all the details and so on so let's quickly just make that panel so let's go into quest giver uh go and search into a canvas panel drag it into here let's uh, apply the corner here so we'll be there and then we can just extend it so fill up a bit this part over here there we go and then we can just go get a, another text and just put it inside the canvas panel uh, actually what i'm going to do is duplicate the other one because i like it so just copy go into the canvas panel paste it and now we can just put it to be like 20 or 27 and it's a bit, a bit smaller and then quest details let's say okay with that said we have the quest details and let's duplicate this and i'm gonna put a bit down over here let's make it smaller so like uh, 17 and then this, this will be just the description. Right now it will be empty, um, but later on we'll basically get the detail of the structure that we created earlier from the slide and then apply all of the UI there. So now I can just go into my quest uh, giver, select the E key, we have the quest available over here, and we will select our quest and now it will appear here with the quest details, uh, like the name, description, and things that we have to do and so on and we'll basically have another button to activate the quest so let's go quickly and just get a button inside of the uh, here and just put it like this and kind of there the anchor is going to be down in the corner and then we can just uh rename this to be the um i don't know select select quest button just get the text drag it inside and this will be just select quest or whatever we'll change it maybe the name later on and uh, also the style i'm gonna put it also to be a bit darker and also in the where is it in the press let's make it a bit lighter and with that is how it will look and i think it's it's going pretty well it's looking pretty neat it was selected request and so on Just a quick thing that i forgot is to go and set the widget active to be false at the end because now we cannot um open it again uh so that was an issue so now i can open it closer and open it again so i was just uh, leaving that okay we solved so on the next episode we'll be completing a bit better the um structure so start filling in a you know the quest that we're gonna have and then setting that information into here so we can actually have the slots which uh, which their data and then we can transfer all that into our panel with description and select quests and so on during the next episodes um, if you found this helpful i would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel for lots of unreal engine five throws to get out remember that profiles will be available in my patreon and youtube members so check them out too join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye